Raymond! Hi. What happened with you and Gigi? Why is Gigi staying at apartments for the next couple of days? Um, we're taking a break. She said you said you needed space. I don't know why she has to move out of the house. Why can't one be in the another corner and the other one at the other corner? I, I, I mean, I didn't tell her she had to go. I just figured we could just like have a little space because it's been getting really bad. It's just, it's bad. Like, you know about the fist fight, right? What fist fight? Um... Okay, well, you know how we are, right? We... We verbally abuse each yes. other a lot. Yeah, like a lot. A lot. And I feel like... We've been harboring some resentment, and it's been getting worse and worse. The other day, we did a job together for the first time in a while, just the two of us. We did a group six run. And... We, you know, sometimes we're flirting, sometimes we're... Poking each other. Sometimes we take a joke a little too far and and one of us gets hurt and one of us snaps back and it's an endless cycle of snapping and it resulted in an actual physical fist fight where we what? yes she kicked my ass she stomped on me with her high heels um and then i said some nasty things to her and then she took me to a homeless camp to a fire pit and held my head up to it and said that she was going to burn my eyebrows off if I didn't say sorry. And I was like, you won't. I bet you won't. And and, and, and I realized, like, uh, wow, <laughs> I never thought we'd be in this situation. She didn't. We go to the hospital and then we get into another fist fight in front of Louis, in front of people. And then, I don't know, the whole thing about today, like, is it, today was the first time I've, I've seen her in a couple days and she was... She acted like everything was fine. And then we... I don't know. The whole thing with Lottie was so awkward. I wanted to end it all. I could not believe how awkward it was because I... I don't know. I've just been... Kitty, I have this problem where I'm just like... I, I just like... I, I don't know. I'm trying to be a better friend and a closer friend to everybody. But I feel like the way I'm doing it is wrong because I... I I'm like meddling too much. Especially with this whole Italian situation. Like I want to help so badly. And it just... It just made everything so freaking awkward. Because I, I didn't know that Lottie and her weren't on the same page. It was weird. And then... Yeah. I was... I, I haven't talked to Lottie, like, separately about the whole thing, you know? Yeah. So, until I listened... Like, it was actually well, I nice thought, that you, I thought like, that we were gonna to listen to her. Uh, yeah, no, I thought... I thought that's why we're all grouping up, because we we're gonna talk about it. And then it was so cringe. And then I got mad at her for making it awkward. And then she got mad at me for being awkward. And then... We did the whole court case thing, and then, uh, she- we had this plan earlier when we weren't fighting that she would- She would, uh, help, uh, get Carmella in trouble, and then she did! And so I was like, wow, that was actually cool, she did it, and then... After the court case, like, you know, we were flirting a little bit, and I was, you know, poking her finger and stuff, quietly, and... I thought we were fine again, and then... Um, after the case, we were walking out, she was really quiet, and I... She was like, I guess the deal's off, because the clowns didn't win, because my end of the deal was to... She would get along with the clowns, if, and I would get along with SK, if the clowns won. And I was mm -hmm. like, I mean, well, you... You tried, at least. And then she was like, I did that for April, not you. And it just, like... Uh. It made me... It was like an epiphany. It made me realize our relationship is toxic. And I feel like I'm deaf. Don't get me wrong. I'm aware that I am part of the problem. I definitely am not innocent in this situation, but I feel like if we don't take some space now, it's only going to get worse and worse. Like it's already gotten physical. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, so I feel like we need maybe, to restart. Like the, maybe do you think I caused some kind of drama? Because. I texted her that you wanted to come along to see Freya's house and her decoration. She's like, who the hell is she? And I'm like, uh, Vel Freya, Valdez's friend. I didn't even know if you knew Freya or not, you know, but. Me? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't really do. I don't know if I know Freya. Yeah, so. And then after that, she was, she showed up at the house and was like, just quiet. I think she's, 
But, I mean, it's just, I know she's going through a lot, and I just... I wanted to help so badly. I wanted to help with this whole SK situation. I wanted to help with the Italian thing, and I just, I feel like all what I've been SK doing... What SK situation? Is there something with SK I don't know about? I just don't get why she likes him, and so I, I've been meaning to, like, get to know him more, but I also have my own issues with him because he freaking stabbed me. And I still haven't been I able to talk, talk to him about it. She helped him with a GPU, and we haven't even paid off the debt yet. So I was like, we shouldn't be paying for SK stuff no, if we haven't even what? paid our... Max told me you told him that, and so I immediately called her. I was like, did you pay for SK's PC parts? And she was like, no, no, where'd you hear that from? She said, no, that didn't happen. Oh. Well. So it's just like... Really? Did it not? Or like, I don't know. It's just, I feel like this guy is like using her for money, leading her on. And he stabbed me. So, I don't know. She's either protecting him, or... She's lying to us? I don't know. For whatever reason. I don't know. Maybe she wants us to... My last talk like with her him. is that she's like, really, really, really like him. So I was like, okay. How but, did you like, find I, out I she know. was paying for PC parts? She called me about something, and then she said something about SK and GPU, and like, and... It took me a second to like, process that she was saying like, that she like, she said something about like helping him. I don't know if just for like that day she paid for it and he paid him paid her back, but Oh. I don't know. Um but yeah, that's we had to talk about it and that's where we left off. Well maybe space is good. But this might be somewhere. Um just to re maybe it'll help her reassess how she's being with you. I mean and... it's just I feel like... I feel like... I mean, she did apologize earlier. She apologized... It, I just feel like our personalities are too similar. You know what I mean? I feel like... Because I don't have these kind of issues with anyone else. I don't know why... Why it happens the way it does with us. Mm. If you could psychoanalyze us, what do you think you would learn? Um, there's a lot of suppressed feelings, for sure. I think a lot on Gigi's end, a lot of her presuming things of how you, how she thinks you would perceive something, how she thinks you would feel about something, how she thinks you would accept something. Uh, that I definitely gather that from speaking with her. Um, and I think the way she copes about, uh, with it is she matches your energy and you guys just kind of like bigger things off when what you guys really need is therapy and a talk with each other. I mean, we've went to Without... therapy before and that didn't work. With Dr. Tanner? Yeah. Because honestly, like, for me, right, like, I've known Gigi for years and I only got closer since I moved back to Los Santos. And when I had that one-on-one -on -one with her that day that I told you she was sad in the uh, during G6, mm -hmm. she said that this group is the first time where she felt like what she thinks and like, you know, like she's thought of, like she's not an afterthought. Like we call her, we tell her, come hang out. And she said she's been with the Italians and she never had that. Mm -hmm. She said she was never thought of, like she said she, she was just a part of, but Nobody took their time out to, like, call her, see what she's up to or what she gets into. And she's saying, like, she said, like, they're not malicious in any way, but it's just that I didn't feel like I was in a family. And she said, with us, she feels that. Like, we take the time to run to each other if we're in danger or if we're sad. Like, you know, and we also bicker. We go shopping together. Like, we try to eat together. And that was like my the first time i had like a real sit down with her and i like i told her i was like i completely get what you mean you know like i i understand you better i even learned that she has a pet peeve of being cut off it's one of her biggest pet peeves is if she's talking she doesn't like when people cut her off <laughs> hmm. so i was like oh i didn't know that that's good to know yeah but I know she's been hanging out a lot with SK and his group of people. And so maybe it's just like also that that initial panic when you lose your security blanket, you know, every time something's happened to her, she always says, my family's not going to like this. I got to go talk to my family. I got to go to the like the, you know, she has like a fallback if shit hits the fans. 
And I think right now maybe she just feels lost because she's lost that. Like the Italians were a huge group. And if something happens, it's kind of like she can run to she can run to a group of people, tell them what happened, and they can, you know, they can either retaliate for her or, you know, just comfort her. And maybe I don't know. Maybe she, it's just a confused feeling right now that those same people that she used to run to when she's feeling sad are now like the, the reason why she's really angry and just angry at the world. So I don't know. Why doesn't she just come to us then? To be fair, when she I think when she tries to I probably should have picked up more on her cues and her vibes today. I think there's just so much happening whenever we're all around. I, I also need to work on just slowing down and maybe putting down my phone and then listening to her. If Especially if she's my friend and I can see this. She's saying she's okay, but her actions are saying the opposite, you know? Mm -hmm. She's obviously writing in her journal. Why can't I be her journal? Like, what am I doing oh, that makes her I not mean. feel... It just... It made me so means... mad when I saw that she was writing in her journal so much and like I, I wanted I want her to open to me open up to me yeah. about I just feel like there's so much I don't know about her and it's just it's I think I got a little impatient. Yeah. Cause like I, I think we yeah I don't know. And then when probably. I saw like the four of us trying to talk to Lottie, it's like why are we not as close as I want us to be? Like I feel like I'm trying to force it to happen, I guess. We like Lottie. I, I think that one, that was just awkward just because I knew how yeah, angry and passionate she feels about Eve, and I know how close Lottie is with Eve. That's her mom, you know? Like, but the they're thing literally is, Lottie two left in a first. Lottie also was, like, mad at her family. I don't know. I thought it was something we could yeah, talk about. Yeah, if but you, if you talk to Gigi, um, she has, like, she won't admit it, but she has a little resentment towards Lottie because she said that Lott all Lottie ever did in the family was complain. And she felt a little targeted by it because, you know, Lottie would say, I don't want to grind. I don't want to make money. Da, da. And so she felt targeted because, you know, she grinds for her money. Mm -hmm. You know, she's like, does she like, does she have something against grinders? Because I work hard for my money. And that, unfortunately, that's what we have to do right now if we want things. So they need to talk as well. Because <laughs> she nah, had that what, feeling. That's what I mean. <laughs> I just think. I just, I, I think I'm just going to stay out of it and encourage them to talk to each other about it i don't know i but even then i don't know i don't know how they are one-on-one -on -one because it's like she can tell me those things but why couldn't she tell lottie you know or is she afraid that it'll reach like eve or something i don't know yeah i just think i don't know the full story to act on it i just want i just want everyone to be happy i want to help We're but trying, i feel like Esbeth. the way that i help is not helping i feel like it's just making things worse well, I don't think this is a reflection of you fully, to be honest. I just think you have a friend who her the rug got slipped, ripped from under her and you just don't know how to help her. And she also doesn't know how to cry for help with you or me. Because she's mostly just been with SK and them since, you know, I feel I honestly feel like I spent more time with her when she was with the Italian group. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so I think right now she's trying, maybe just hanging out with them because they make her feel safe. I don't know what we're doing differently that doesn't make her feel like that. I mean, maybe it's all the fighting that we've been having yeah. together. I just, but like, why is she not closer with like you or Max, you know? I think her, Max was always just closer to April. She does open up to me, but, um, I've also just been in like, cause I, I've also just been stressed, super stressed and just working a lot because I, I just want to pay back my friends basically, you know, mm -hmm. like, well, so whenever she asks me, what am I doing? I'm, I'm genuinely just working. I'm like, I just need to work. I, I don't want to like screw over people, especially since Jay like hold, held off on getting his house to make sure we got ours. I just want to get his like money paid. So. so what do you think I should do? I think give her some time today. Mm -hmm. Maybe she'll write in her notebook. Um, obviously, emotions are high. You can even just, uh, you know, I'm 
I'm gonna be honest, if I was ever upset with you guys and be like, I, I don't like you guys right now, but I love you, but I do want to talk about this some other time when we're both, Oh, trust know. me, I know. <laughs> I learned you're the type <laughs> to just walk away and talk about it. See, because for me, all I want to do is call her right now and... Well, if you know she's similar to you, do you think she's feeling the same way? No, the she thing wants is, like, since, since I feel like we're similar, it... You know what's gonna happen if I were to call her? We would apologize to each other, but then tomorrow we're gonna fight about something and have like not actually forget what happened. You know what I mean? Like I feel like we both mm -hmm. hold a little resentment towards stuff that we've done. Cause like, yeah, you guys do that a lot. Have you I, how can I forget the way she held my face in front of a fire pit, saying that she was gonna burn my eyebrows off if I didn't say sorry? Like she, she is so much stronger than me, and it makes me mad. Like it makes me mad that like. You know, she just can just kick my ass, whatever, and she did. It's like, how do I just yeah. let that go? But like, I, I'm I'm trying to because I I I know that I'm part of the reason why I escalated to that point. But Who God, threw the first punch like ever, huh? Who threw the first punch like ever? Like, who crossed the boundaries of making it a physical fight? I mean, we we were egging each other in the street for a while. I, I think I definitely hurt her first because I was driving the car away and, like, making her chase it. And then I hit her with the car. And then I think I, um... I think I threw the first punch. And then... It all went black after that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you're somebody that she adores. Uh, I would definitely be shocked if the person that, you know... It's just... I also, I'm not gonna lie, Kitty, like... She... She keeps insulting my looks. And it feels bad, because it's just like... I... I don't know why she's making fun of my mustache and my chin hair. And it's making me feel a little insecure about it, because she brings it up like every week oh honey after this debt after this debt is paid off we'll get you laser don't you worry then she's got nothing to talk about i didn't even know you had a mustache it's subtle hair. it's subtle like i pluck it but like why why is that an attacking point like i've never attacked the way she looks i mean i call her blind and stuff all the time but it's because of her glasses okay, it's one of those things you know where you insult the person you like i think that's what's happening does she ever Remember when you? I said about suppressed feelings? No. It's because you're beautiful! Oh, freak. I'm like, it's cause- It's no, cause you don't have chin hair! I got chin hair! Oh. Well, if that's true, then why doesn't she make fun of you for it? You know, do I have chin hair? See, I have chin hair, you know, so I've got hair around my chin. You're with you know? Yeah, we were- We hit- this man has been, let me tell you, he has it down to clockwork when we grind. I get an email every three hours, it's time. <laughs> really? How much have you, did you get the big truck? Yeah, we got the big truck, uh, last night. Wow. Wait, so how much have you guys made since? We've made 8k since, right? Since we bought the truck? Yeah, we've made it. Wait, that's so good. Yeah, we just got it last night, so he has the big truck, that's why, and so... And that wipes off 10k from our the the there's no more interest. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I'm, and one uh... day we've halfway paid back on the truck, so because it was 17.5 and we've made 8k so far. Each. That's awesome. So. You guys are gonna make so much money. Like, what if um, if you end up making like a ton a ton of money, maybe we could just use your money to pay off the debt, and then we can start paying you back. As long as people pay me, <laughs> Oh, you know, I, I think everyone will. I hope so. I think everyone will. But I, don't I mean, mind. I will at least. Um, yeah. I did get my... I paid for my house key today, and then, um, Max bought the decorator a house key. So that she has a way to access the house frequently. Okay. So... Nice. <sighs> I like her. Uh, I can't wait to see her work. Yeah, I'm I a little embarrassed by how I'm, we acted in front of her. I want to get along. <laughs> Uh, um, I mean, yeah. I mean, maybe I'll try talking to her tomorrow, but I just... I'm just scared. You're just gonna sleep it off, Angie? 
I'm scared you guys are gonna like call each other tomorrow, pretend like nothing happens, something triggers you guys, and then you guys will have a petty off, and then there's even more. No, stuff that's and that's more what I mean. I'm a, I'm afraid that. That's it. Let's I'm go have a talk. I'm afraid Bother. that it's going to get worse. I, I don't like if it doesn't. If we don't do it right this time, then I feel like our friendship's gonna be gone permanently. Are you messaging her? No, uh, you know needs bandages. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I don't have them. Hazel had 30 in his- 40 in his truck. Have him take it out. Um... I say you guys have a talk, honestly. Talk it out, point out all the stuff that you don't like, that you specifically don't understand, and like, you're like, this is how I feel, and this is how I'm taking it. This is not- I'm not saying that you're attacking me, but this is how I take it when you do this. And then see how she reacts to it. Because then what if she's like, oh my god, that's not what I'm- how I meant to make you feel. You know? Yeah. And then you guys sleep it off. Just be like, I want this to be short and sweet. I don't want coggers. This is how I feel, and I don't like where our friendship is going, and I really want to work on this. And then... Um, we'll give each other homework. See, call her, just give each other homework. If you're like, if you're short on time, call her, give each other homework. Say, I want, since you're writing on your journal, I would like you to create a journal on how, like, what. I mean, like, maybe you, know, you should mediate. You want, me, you want me to mediate? Okay, when? Now? I'm ready now. Maybe we just do it now? Okay. Where? Well, I'm at the, behind the house, sitting in the rain. Okay, you call her, though. Okay. Uh, I'll call her since I'm the mediator. Or do you want to call her? I'll call her. Okay, you call her. Okay. Okay, see, are you coming back now? Or is this another, yeah. like, five hour? I'll be there soon no, around no, the corner. I... <laughs> Any... Glorian, do you have a car? Can you drive me to my house really quick, please? Okay, I'll call her. Okay, all right. Uh, I think it's too soon, but... Whatever. Hello? Can we talk? Um... I, I, uh... I would like to, but I don't think I'm, I'm ready. Well, Kitty suggested that... we at least talk a little bit and then have a little space. She could mediate. She's coming to the house right now if you want to just do that real quick. Um, of course, I, I w would love to. I, I really don't think I, I, I can't do it right now. Hey. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Um, well, I, I hope you have a good night, Ray. Me too. Hello? It went, it went horribly wrong, Kitty. She said it was a bad idea. I should have called her. It was so embarrassing. She rejected me and she said it was too soon. And I was thinking maybe it was too soon. And it's just, it was so bad. I don't think, now she's not coming. And now it's weird. And then she was like, maybe later or another time. And it's just, why would you, why? Like, I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna call I, her. Okay. 